Hello and welcome back to the Casper movie trilogy from the 90s. Today we're doing the third movie, although it's technically the second one chronologically. Yeah, I know it's wait, confusing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, it is. You know what's interesting, uh, Shiroi, by the way? We were talking about yesterday uh, about there was being an edition of the first Casper movie that came packaged with Spirit at the Beginning. That was Guess me, what? actually, you mentioned that. Oh, was it? Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the basic point is, guess what? There's actually a DVD pack of free, uh, Casper free movie collection that has the original, Spirit of Beginning, but not this one. It has Casper's Scare School. Hi. Okay. Is that like uh, a spin-off for you'd, children you'd, or you'd something? Think they, you'd think they would package these two movies with, you know, the one that actually is related to I these two, but... I, I swear. I mean, they I know these movies are for children, but you know what I mean. They make it so confusing with whether or not Scare yeah. School and Haunted <laughs> Christmas are, you know, part of this franchise or not by doing that kind mm -hmm. of There's stuff. There's a Christmas special? Yeah, so, true, yeah. Yes. Like, like, I get the feeling, Joe, but what they just did is, hey, let's throw in... We have these free Casper stuff like let's for the moment that it's cast but it's all the same thing right i uh, knowing companies i wouldn't be surprised if that was the logic anyway today we're doing casper meets wendy which of course means that this is the, the live action debut and so far only appearance of wendy the good little witch which is the other major character uh from harvey comics uh that takes place in the casper universe wendy the good little witch is of course a character that was basically as you can probably see for her design inspired by little red riding hood um and she, much like a Casper, she has three ants who are also witches. So, so yeah, she was kind of the distaff counterpart to Casper, I guess. Exactly. Oh, everybody, uh, let's start at zero. You guys know that there's the link in the description for those who don't have the DVD. I mean, Dreamworks. But with the part. kids overjoying for some reason and this about logo. Yeah. Three, two, one, click. Hey, maybe they yeah. have a lot of making the logo. This movie is no is at the very least noteworthy for being um Hillary Duff's major first major mainstream movie debut. Well, that I possibly her first movie Wendy. at all. Rem hey. rem rem remember this was Sorry. before this was I before her thing with Disney. Sorry, I got to say, did you accidentally give, did you, did we accidentally, are we accidentally watching a copy of the last movie? That was yeah. a documentary, is the title Just the like title more common animation. They reuse the same opening credit sequence. Okay. okay. Um, Crazy Fury Time. Did they actually wanted to make a series instead, uh, but but to be slowly crunch instead, you know, a pilot that was reworked into the movie, the first movie, and then this. Uh... I wonder if the plan was okay. They would have the big budget movies, but then they'd have these little. <sighs> Honestly, even calling these made-for-TV movies feels like an insult to actually good made-for-TV movies, but cheaper oh, movies. Oh, I back for some reason. Can't, can't. Shelley Duvall. Oh! Uh, Terry Gar. Wait, 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 wait. They got fair, Lois Lane want... in this? Yeah. To, uh, well, that's the thing, too. If you're going to have, uh, 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 like, a, a witch who I usually, you know, look uh, somewhat repulsive, yeah, you'd get Shelley Duvall. Sorry. Blake Foster? Um, Is yeah. that the same Blake Foster who plays Justin in the uh, Power Rangers Turbo? Probably, also, considering uh, it's a I Also, would, I would have chose to uh, Sarandon. Uh, I guess, but we can afford her too. We're cheap. We're cheap. This is a very cheap movie, so I suppose that they could afford Also, her. I noticed that the voice actors for the three uncles are the ones from the previous movie. At the very least, it's consistent yeah. with that. We're still, we're still reeling from being somehow being able to afford James Earl Jones last time. So, from what mm. I can see, while this movie did not exactly revive the Wendy series, Wendy did get her own video game in 2001 for the Game Boy Color called Wendy Every Which Way. So, great. Cool. Also, um, fun fact, right. Christina Ricci's character of Cat in the Casper movie was originally named Wendy in the script, but changed at the last minute because otherwise Universal would have been required to buy the rights to her character at the time. Go figure. Ew, money spending, ooh. Indeed. Um... Okay. That being so... said, one thing this movie does have over Spirited Beginning, a bigger budget, whereas Spirited Beginning was only $500,000, this one actually had $6.4 million. They were able Ooh. to put ham on the switch. We're, we're, we're moving up in the world, are we? Um, <laughs> okay, um, okay, 
Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how the hell did Sabar get all that extra money to put into this? Turbo didn't do well. Uh, they won. Uh, they they, they the went to the movie certainly they, did not they, well. They, they right, visit, right. The director visited the casino and he won big. Okay, okay, okay. If I recall correctly, also these credits are still going. My God, or but... was Wilhelm Sabal and Shuki Levy feeling generous? That if I day? <laughs> if I recall correctly, didn't Turbo do get Very some good small. toy sales at least? And that's probably I where they got the money from. Yeah. I think so, but it's been so long, I don't think that data is even around the, for us to check out anymore at this point. Also, also the noble art of baseball, I guess. So. Also, it turns out I was mistaken about Terry Gar being <laughs> Lois Lane at some point. Uh, no, I th you're thinking of, uh, you're thinking of um, uh, Terry Hart, not Scar. Yeah. However, Terry <laughs> Gar was still in quite a bit of stuff, all the same. All the commentator I said nothing. Oh, well, now he's saying something. Yeah, so we start this movie with a baseball game. Okay, I, 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 and before you ask, no, nobody from Spirit of the Beginning returns. Not even the, the returning cameos from the from the original film. Which, okay, in that case, how... Well, I mean, the, I mean the voices of the ghosts. That said, though, that, that said, though, we are, once, we are once again in Deeds Town, though, so kind of weird oh, that nobody same, returns. Oh. Yeah. It's the same town from the spirit of beginning. Well, maybe this movie will finally explain why the ghosts end up going to Casper's old house. <laughs> well, eh? okay, no, actually, to, to be fair to what Jova just said... Wait, um, wait, 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 oh wait, God, wait, 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 Yeah, yeah, Pedro, so, Pedro, so, Pedro, so, Pedro, you didn't tell me that this was actually Space Jam, because this is literally the ending of Space Jam. Also, you told me some movie was so witches, why aliens? <laughs> you promised witches, what the fuck is this? Hey, sure, um, <laughs> I'm feeling sure. betrayed, I want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and apparently we have uh, Dumbledore's thing that uh, that drops away the light. <laughs> like, uh, okay. oh wait, let and me this... guess. This is something okay, that the... uh, in my defense, Shirai, I didn't remember this bit. Let me guess. This is something <laughs> that the ghosts are watching on television or something. Yeah, I'm starting to see why I blocked yeah. this part out of my brain because this is so stupid. Um... They actually filmed the scene, so it must have some purpose. Um, apparently it's just duty hard pass this time. Also Coca Cola. They are. That yeah. I'm guessing that was shot for the trailer. The Monstars are back. That's uh, where they're getting the money. The Coca Cola no, sponsorship. Damn, whoever... That's Simon says. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I gotta say, whoever saw that clarinet is doing a great um... job. Okay, 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 fair. Okay, fair, fair. You what? Well, uh, think about it. Uh, what does that look like? Yeah. A bowl? No, no, no. There were three of them. Yeah, three of them. So I'm guessing the witches. Oh, okay, aliens. Ugh. <sighs> There you go. See, it's uh, oh, okay. um. It's... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What? Movie. <laughs> okay, movie. Okay, I hate to point this out, but the farting thing—that should be more stinky thing, not fatso thing. Did they forget also, their character bouts? We, we stretched the whole sequence about the UFO descending for so long just to do this. Oh, get it, like in the last movie. Oh, and Sean, Sean, do you Sean really think that those shots are gold? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If, if, if every monster movie. Go oh. On. Wow, oh, that oh. was horrifying, but yeah, uh, no, I mean... Uh, Alright, that's your nightmare for today, everybody. But Enjoy. no, I mean, this movie seriously forgot the uncles' character traits here. Like, that was so easy to get. Stinky's the nasty one who does all that kind of stuff. That so is the fat one, and Stretch is, well, well, like the stretchy one. I recognize that he, that he, he is just Arnello voicing... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's the same voice that he does for Lolo in the yeah, Crash that... Uh, sorry, go it's because it's because they couldn't afford to get back the originals, but um, yeah, what Jova said. Like uh, also, uh, could you imagine if every monster movie had those kinds of shots? Like for example, like hey, Shira, could you imagine if we we're watching a shocking wait, movie and every wait, time wait, Chucky wait, shows wait, up? Wait, wait, wait. 
he can actually interact with the solid food now. He's like ingested. Oh, we, made, we made a point to the first one. Oh, and lower. he can just drop it out. Jova, 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 if we're going to question the logistics of how the ghostly physics work, we're, ne we're never going to be done. Let's okay, just... okay, okay. Forget logistics. How about some damn consistency? No, there is no cons the, the only consistency here is that there is no consistency. Also, yeah, yeah, but this, but this, but this music going up, I'm half expecting Venom and or my Otis one to suddenly drop in. Also, this is once there... again does bring the question: If ghosts were clearly this well known, why the hell weren't they as well known in the first movie? Uh, shut up. Um, hey, yes, yeah. <laughs> Because shut up, that's why. Um, Shiroi, uh, could you imagine if we were a, a Chucky movie or, a, or maybe in season three? Imagine if in season three, Shiroi, every time Chucky shows up and starts killing people, there's a shot of someone screaming to the camera, <laughs> Chucky would just say, shut the fuck up and throw a knife at them, probably. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, Peter Capaldi? I'm gonna fucking exercise his ghost. Uh. Alright, so this is an original <laughs> villain made up for this movie called Desmond Spellman. He sounds like a. Wow. That's a that, 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 that sounds like a Harry Potter related, parody. Related, actually, character. Sabrina character. Or, or, yeah, or, or Sabrina, yeah. She literally is called Spellman by last name. Yeah, oh, and he has a magic mirror, of course. I swear, he looks like Alec Baldwin fused with Vincent Price. What an unholy union. Why has he only got half a little tiny stash? Oh god, is he cosplaying uh, again, as Ted Turner? He also trying to get a beetle V. So there you go, this is the guy who likes being the greatest wizard in the world, and he will not take it for anybody to be better than him. Okay. This guy is literally a male version of the evil stepmother from Snow White. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen this movie before. I don't remember this character at all. I remember the witches, remember the ghosts. None of his character. Jova, that looks Jova, like a Jova, that should be a cue. That should be a cue, Jova, that this villain is utterly generic. <sighs> you know... It says something. By all accounts, this should be technically the most... Okay, maybe not the most powerful villain, since I guess I was supposed to be, uh, Kibosh. Although, he barely did anything, but when you get down to it, that means that Casper, in his l lifetime as a ghost, and yes, I know the irony of that, but still, he went from dealing with a supernatural threat like Kibosh, to dealing with an evil wizard, to just two assholes trying to get his treasure in the first movie, chronologically speaking. Honestly, the, the, okay, this is one of the plot trappings of a prequel. When it turns out I, that the stakes were actually much bigger in the prequel than they were in the later thing here. I the, love it. Uh, the, I love it. Yeah. This guy needed to demonstrate his magical powers by showcasing that one of his drawers that could have easily opened because he was either you know, on his height, uh, opens just with a zap. I guess I'll give him credit. These effects don't look god-awful like in Spirit at Beginning. Well, they had a huge uh, upgrade in budget, so... Uh, you were... oh, oh, God! Oh, what the fuck? Don't tempt fake, guys. It doesn't hey, should work I, out. Hey, should I, hey, should I, Chuck, he's doing it again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, fuck? Oh, um... God, guess, huh? Okay, this movie really needs to deal with um, its tone. Wait. <laughs> Is the guy on the right the guy who played M in um, in Men in, in Black? Uh, I wonder. Huh, huh, tone. By all means, sure. Okay, explain, no, it's not... explain that foreign concept. Uh, it's Jules... not him no. by a closer look, but he looks like him. Jo no, Jules is played by Richard Mall. Oh I'm my god! Him. Richard Mall, he was Two Face in Batman the Animated Series. There you go. That's probably what the director would say to you, Shiroya. Tone, explain that concept to me. Honestly? Oh god, they really are trying to play the man in black. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, oh my god. So, our villain here is played by George Hamilton. I mean... Hey. 
The man's had a substantial body of work in film and television, so... I guess this may be another round of asking, why the hell is this man here? <laughs> I swear, they either really love their jobs or they are legit being kidna kidnapped off oh. the street. <laughs> also, we've only seen two movies and a little bit into this one. I'm just going to assume the comics were better overall. And oh, they were. Better. It's, it's funny you mention that. The best, the, remember, Chiro, I like... Um... Casper started out as a cartoon strip character, and as expected, yeah, it's, it's better in cartoons. Um, the, but... The girl next door living in the haunted mansion. You better yeah, name yes, my name, Casper yeah. the, um, the, uh, the actress who gets top billing in, in any re-release, Hilary Duff as Wendy. Yeah. And uh. yes, in true cartoon logic fashion, all of her dresses are the exact same red dress. Um... Okay, so... Also, that song is very good. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. Um, so far, Crockett, there was a Wendy cartoon back in go. the day. Oh, there you go, TLC. Okay, there you go, I, I must have... I've, okay, it's something we were discussing off commentary anyway. So, yeah, um, I have to give this movie credit. They nailed Wendy's look. Yeah, this is exactly how I would imagine Wendy would look in live action. And thankfully, Hilary Duff is a pretty good child actress as well, so... Oh, yeah, this, this is her made for debut even before she joined up with Disney. So yeah, technically oh, this, this is, is her breakout role. Oh my god, um, Kerrigan reincarnated as a witch! Yes, yes, Kathy Moriarty, the actress who played the villain of the original film, now for some reason has been recast into one of uh, Wendy's aunts. And before you ask, no, the movie never acknowledges the fact that it's the same actress. I think gags usually are done when it's a different continuity or anything, like... Having the the guy who played Piccolo in Dragon Ball Evolution is the you know, English voice of Zamasu. Okay, okay, okay. To and give yes. to give Child's Play five seat of Chucky credit. Oh yeah, yeah, it turned out that Jennifer Tilly was a thing in the same world where Tiffany yeah. was a thing. They do at least take advantage of that by literally having Tiffany yeah. kidnap Jennifer Tilly and, and voice over for her because they have yeah. the same voice. It goes into the TV series and only. I'm running joke. Hey, see, well, we, yeah, the 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 Chucky franchise very, very often pokes fun of that. It's part of the. It's it's a running gag at this point. But uh, with this, um, uh, it's an interesting casting decision, I will say. Um, and yes, just like in the original film, Kathy Moriarty once again speaks with that raspy voice that sounds like she's been smoking a hundred marbles. I will oh, say oh. it probably does work here for her as a witch. So which it works better, um, although I would prefer a more cackling <laughs> type of voice, but... Uh, oh. Oh. Boy, you just got pranked. Okay. Also, I know, but... I, oh, so God. yeah, as you can see, Wendy and the ants are basically a very parallel to Casper. Wendy is a nice witch, whereas the ants are traditional um, mean Something witches. tells so... me Harvey Comics did not have much imagination. <laughs> I was about to say, so you're telling me that Harvey Comics was the Hanna-Barbera of the 50s. And again, that is not a knock against all of Hanna-Barbera, but let's be honest, folks, the jokes have been made. Hanna-Barbera made a lot of Scooby-Doo ripoffs. Well, you have to understand, too, that uh, these characters were originally conceived for the purpose of strips, not even full-blown comics, strips. Sure, sure. Um, and the okay. idea of the thought process would be, oh, Wendy is the one reserved for the little girls. Okay, okay, okay. To Tio's, to, yeah. Okay, to Tio's credit, the unimaginative qual... Okay, I wouldn't even call it unimaginative, but to Tio's credit... It, it, it kind of persisted even into the cartoons, past the point of them just being yeah. comic uh, strips. Also, regarding what you said before, Java, isn't there also an episode of a Batman animated series where the Joker kidnaps Mark Hamill or something? Uh, that's Justice League action you're thinking of, and yes, and it yeah. is glorious when that happens. And yeah, as you can probably guess, Ocus Pocus Trio, these three are not. Let me guess, they're not as endearing. They're, they're probably not as endearing. You try. You can tell they're going for the same thing that Hocus Pocus went for, you know, the comically quirky witches, you know? Unfortunately, and don't get me wrong, these three actresses are good actresses, but unfortunately, unlike Hocus Pocus, their writing doesn't really give also, them much to work with. Also, did she teleport it in front of them? The scene I've... was framed like she wasn't there before. I don't know. 
Whoa, we're in Men in Black now? What? Again, we, we showcased those before, but what? yeah, so it seems like we're parenting Men in Black. If I recall correctly, the first movie came out the year before. So, okay, let me just recap the plot real quick. According to the Magic Mirror... Uh, oh no, um... you, te you, you four kids wear guns! <laughs> yeah, according to the Magic Mirror, Wendy is going to become a much more powerful witch than Desmond Spellman. Desmond Spellman doesn't like that, so obviously he ordered for these lackeys to kill her. So yeah, even though Wendy is, her look is based on Red Riding Hood, the story they went for with her in this movie is Snow White. Interesting also, see, choice. This, this is the problem with wizards and witches. You take away their burst stick and they're basically absolutely useless. Uh, so whoa, but then, apparently she whoa, can bust a move too. there. Yeah, yeah, but little you know too that Wendy can backflip. See, I'm a All strong, right, capable sure. girl. I can backflip. You're All grounded. Right. All right, I've just been checking the uh, filmography of the writer of this film, Jim Magon, who co-wrote the previous movie and has sole writing credit for this film. Um, previously, uh, this individual wrote um, episodes for TV shows like Adventures of the Gummy Bears, Duck Tales. The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck. So Dark, basically, Goose a Disney afternoon regular. Yeah, That's weird because uh... oh, oh, God, hey, Dwibs, this live-action remake of Kiki is weird. Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, so you're telling me that we bad. went from Animaniacs writers to Disney afternoon writers? Huh. Yeah, because, uh, which is weird because all those shows that Liv just listed are enjoyable. As I mean, I mean after this, he wrote stuff like. Stuff for House of Mouse and um, yeah, that's good. But, so um, what, so but, what um, happened with Spirited Beginning then? And uh, and in terms of films, uh, he was a co-writer on a Goofy movie. And uh, okay, but unfortunately, there are um, cons to that side as well. In terms of like negative stuff that he's written, there's stuff like Quack Pack, uh, Make Way for Noddy. Pac-Man and the Ghostly okay. Adventures, Secret, oh. of, Secret of Mim 2, oh. Titanic The Legend Goes On. Wait, 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 Titanic The Legend Goes On? I thought that was strictly an Italian and Korean project. Uh, he was, oh, apparently, was... apparently he was a consultant. Yeah, you were, I'm guessing he probably handled the English translation, maybe? So he has handled some oh. really good stuff and some really crap stuff. Seriously, that guy has as many hits as he has misses. Also, I'm guessing, I'm guessing in universe of basically it showcases the ghosts are moving away from these these nuts town. Well, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they're just here for a vacation. They'll supposedly be back to Deeds Town later on. Um, we'll get back to that. But then again, this just raises further the question. So now they're doing these antics outside of Deeds Town. How do people not know that ghosts exist? They have not really been doing that much a job to hide themselves. In the original, they mostly stayed confined to the mansion. I guess we could assume that while on vacation, they were doing some crazy stuff here and there, but no. What's with, what's with this movie having close-ups? A lot of them, actually. Oh, okay, on analyzation, while they're not <laughs> as good... <laughs> Ha, get it, drop dead. But anyway, okay, while they're while they're still not as good as they looked in the original movie, they do look better than they did in Spirited Beginning. Oh, hold on. They never did do the chocolate joke. This is important, or... actually. Hold on. So, yeah, in this uh, movie, there's apparently some kind of animosity between witches and... Ghosts. Uh, ghosts, because as as Stretch just put it, witches are fleshies with power. Again, the way they use the word fleshy, it, oh. it, it does sound like the ghost, the ghost equivalent of a slur. It turns okay. out they're frightened of witches, though. Well, again, as I mentioned, the previous movie also reinforced the the complete uh, um, separation that uh, the ghost world and the the real life, you know, the still live, living beings tends to have. Even Pauly Shore's character, you know, mentioned that. Uh, couple yeah. of times but yeah like i was saying yeah you can tell uh, remind me again joe but wasn't this the same year that okay hold on wasn't if i remember correctly wasn't when did Ocus pocus one came out again pretty wasn't sure that like was 1993 oh, yeah 1993 oh, never mind 
Never mind. It was you know it's older than I remembered. So this okay. movie had plenty um, of time to rip it off. If that's your yeah. Uh... So that was like, oh, yes. So yeah. In that case, never mind. I guess this movie is trying to rip off Hocus Pocus. Okay. For those who don't know, Hocus Pocus, while not making a lot of money initially, because hey, let's release a Halloween film smack dab in the middle of July, became a cultural phenomenon that got played pretty much every year on Disney Channel, yeah. and it's culminated became, to this became... point where it has. Well, okay, to the point where its sequel has one of the best showings on streaming, period. So, yeah, yeah I can understand why they would want to maybe Hocus pocus things. Unless, okay, was the Wendy series like this prior? No. Okay, then, yeah, no, it's just them trying to trip. Wait, oh my god. Are the aunts also original to this? Uh, let me just double check real quick, because it's been a while. Because if they are, yeah, no, this is definitely them trying to go for that Hocus Pocus money. I guess Obliviator. Uh... What the fuck? Yep. Turned her into a goat. That, that had to be painful in some manner. It's though. funny, because it's a goat. Ah, goodbye, if it was a simpler effect, I guess, but they made it look extremely painful. Again, like a Goosebumps episode. Well, isn't human derived from pain? Please, uh, so anyway, that pedantic, that pedantic, this is no place. Here. Anyway, you were saying, Pedro, about the aunts? Uh, from what I can tell, apparently, no, the aunts were not a thing in the original uh, strips in 54. Oh, so now we think of getting more quote unquote traditional clothing. Uh, okay. Wendy was introduced in Casper uh, the Friendly Ghost number 20, May 1954. So, oh! Oh, yeah. so she was originally a Casper spin off character. Yeah, but again, Joe, think of her as the rally to oh, Casper's no, Goku. That's that I remember. This is the costume that I remember seeing in the movie poster. But to be fair, to be fair, they're trying to pose as regular human beings, so they needed this guy. No, 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 that's what I. But again, the audience doesn't know because it's something we discussed off commentary anyway. Back to your show, me kid. Oh, okay, so here's the cool. Uh, this kid, I do remember. Okay, Dwibs, is it just me or does this kid look like the kid who voiced TJ? Um, well, I know, I know no! he isn't him, but I, know who he, <laughs> but I do know who he is. Who, yeah, who is he? The same kid who plays uh, Justin the Blue Turbo Power Ranger. Oh my uh, god, I, I thought, thought I saw I him thought, from somewhere. I thought he looked familiar. Okay, um, basically, Dwebs, his role here is that he's the smooth player who is trying to hit on Wendy. Wait a minute, if I recall correctly, doesn't he get possessed at some point? Again, Jova, you'll have to forgive me because it's been years since I've seen this movie. I don't really remember a lot from it. I remember the basics of it, but not details. Like, yeah, hey. Yeah, what oh, the, it's funny you know, what because he's consulting the Magic Mirror on the PC. You know, one of the weirdest things, and he was actually one of the better parts of Turbo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, that is kind of the ironic thing. He went on to be disliked, but... Wait, okay, when you say Turbo Dwarfs, are you talking about the movie or the show? Both. Huh. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay. Okay, okay, Joe, but here's the, here's the basic gist of it. In fact, let me see if... When did this comic come out? Uh, oh, God, I hate this design for Wendy. Um, oh. Okay, so here's here's the basic gist of it, Jova. Um, uh, originally, Wendy didn't have un un aunts, just like Casper originally didn't have uncles. So the aunts are in the original to this movie. However, much like with the uncles from Casper, they the aunts were eventually incorporated into the rest of the franchise. Also, uh, so, so by rest however, of the franchise, are we referring to like the video game, or did she get a new cartoon, yeah, or the, franch the franchise as a whole? Like, um, I guess uh, the comic just... continued, you know, Drova. Yeah, not to, uh, the, the uh, from what I. But here's the interesting thing. Uh, there was a comic. I wasn't even aware of this because it really, it really shows how, how long it's been. Because you guys have to understand that it's been years since I've actually been checking out new Casper media. So I'm kind of out of touch regarding today's Casper media. You know what I mean? Um, 
But I just noticed in the wiki, Jova, that there was a 2009 comic book reboot called Casper and the Spectros that did indeed bring in the aunts. And I absolutely detest what they did with Wendy. In that oh, she's, that... she's, they turn into Amy Rose. I, no, I'm sorry. I don't like how the, that, I don't like this, this these designs. Don't okay. you see? She looks, she, fine. she looks hip and goth, yo. Again, tr trying to make it for the Wait, modern audience. Hip, yeah. hip in 2009? Like, uh, Casper looks fine, but Wendy, no, no. I, I, Wendy should look cute. Also, opinion. what is Kid Devil from Teen Titans doing there? But whatever. Um, According also, to the wiki you showed... I wasn't from the scene before. What is the... the why is the gimmick with the villain being a wizard that he has both technology and references to sci-fi movies? Because when the, the 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 technology thing popped up out of the the, the, arm, the wardrobe, clearly the theme was trying to ape up John Williams' score for Star Wars. I guess the idea is that he is one of those sorcerers who doesn't balk at technology. He's willing to use it to his advantage if need be. Again, that's just my best guess. All right. Anyway, oh Pedro. God. In the internet in 1998, you're not going to find that many results, girl. Illustrated by Pedro Delgado. <laughs> the common name, Libs. Again, very common name in Latino countries, Libs. Anyway, Pedro, it might please you to know that there's apparently a more recent comic that stars Wendy in it, one that came out in 2019. And the looks of it are much more heckin' to the original design here. You see? Oh, that is so much better, thank God. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah, one... that actually is very faithful to the original uh, strips, honestly. That looks great. Yeah, my guess is that they wanted to do that as a callback there. I'll admit, yeah, yeah. Casper as a series, I have not been tracking, but as far as I know... Outside of, you know, some comic book lines here, and, you know, some of those other movies, I don't know if it's had a big comeback yet or not. Let me put it this, let, let me put it this way. The original uh, 1950s strips and shorts are very, very simple. Like, the kind of stuff you just sit down and watch while you eat cereal type of thing. What the right? fuck is this? Uh, the movie's going nuts, too. Well, Again, um... <laughs> they're really trying to go for that hocus pocus energy, except they forgot a keen balance needed here. The witches were funny, yes, but they were also very threatening. So I guess the, what he's telling here is that they use excessively their magic power. Desmond will find them also instantly. Yeah, you know what? I wonder if that's going to be incorporated. Now that I think problem. about it, now that I think about not this one, not Kevin Moriarty's character, the other one, not this one, the the, the other one. Like, come on, movie, put it on screen. That one. Yeah, yeah, this one. She, she, you can tell they're trying to emulate Bette Midler's look in Hocus Pocus. Oh my God, like, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I see what you're doing, movie. Come on. Well, uh, since apparently this movie was also a failure commercially, apparently it didn't work, because again, here you go, you, you here you go ladies and gentlemen, a poor man's Hocus Pocus. Enjoy. Wow, I didn't think it would take five years to do that. Also, one. get the irony? Wendy's the most responsible of them. Yeah. Well, the... This is actually a very typical trope, so that's fine. Because, get it? Because she's, she's the youngest. You don't expect them to be the most civilized. Yeah, yeah. So, Casper Why just... Why she be more like the other... Yeah, we did this song and dance in the previous movie. So, Casper, I guess, just never thought to mention the cat. Oh, yeah, by the way, I also met this witch. Witches are real, too. You know what's interesting, Jova? I just... I'm, I'm seeing... I'm looking at Wendy's Wikia page on the Casper Wikia. Apparently, originally, they were planning on calling Cat from the, from the original film Wendy as a small little Easter egg. Fortunately, they changed... They... they they didn't go forward with that because, yeah, that would be kind of dumb. I actually mentioned, I mentioned that, that earlier. Yeah. I actually mentioned that earlier. The, the main reason was because they would have had to pay for the rights of using Wendy if they wanted to name oh, Cat yeah, right. Wendy. Yeah, honestly, I'm glad that didn't go through because that would have been a dumb idea. So, okay, that's guys. kind of a callback to the first movie, so... Oh, dizzy. You know what? No, I'm not even going to ask how a ghost gets sunburned. <laughs> so, 
So, so hey, 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 Shiroi, both Casper and Wendy are really sad because they have no friends and their families are a bit hard to deal with. What could they possibly do? Hmm. Um, become besties? Yeah. Hey, you have a shit family. I have a shit family too. Let's, Let's be, be friends. <laughs> Yeah, the composer seems to agree with you, Casper. They literally have them basically reflecting each other's talent Please about how it isn't a fair. About lonely her life, he is. A... Uh, I'm pretty sure. No, okay, I don't. I, okay, I don't remember much from this movie, but I'm pretty confident that it doesn't have any musical. Numbers. Okay, okay. Yeah. But... Uh, I want. To... I wanted Digimon the musical, but I'm never gonna get it. I suppose I will agree with Dwibs that, you know, for all the Blue Rangers issues and oh, power. Oh, good. Let me see if I can spot some video games I can recognize. Alright. If they'll show them at all. <laughs> so, there was something in the background, but with these amazing resolution, I cannot distinguish jack shit. Yeah, is this it, movie is crusty. Is this, isn't this the same set as Angel Grove High School? Could be. Okay, it doesn't look the same, though it could easily be disguised like that, so maybe. Okay, that being said, I will agree with you, Dibs, that Blake Foster was a good actor here. I do feel like the Blue Ranger stuff was better handled in Into Space than in Turbo, though. You know, is this yeah. like the, in the Superman Commando? In this case, we did not show Wait, it. it's after Burner. Is that Mortal Kombat there? Yeah, I was about to mention. Did we, There's an M.O. Come on, score. They show it. Uh, they don't actually show it. Uh, you know. Gable. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They'll I have to pay money for showing the names. I wonder if maybe that was their way to get around having to pay I money. Think, I think the one we yeah. just passed in the background was Rampage. Wait, oh wait, hold on, that looked like Liu Kang, maybe that is Mortal Kombat. It looked like you, either that or, yeah, it might be Mortal Kombat, actually. God, that feels that like such a tease. Hilarious. You see, guys, you know he's a bad boy because he plays Mortal Kombat. He's not supposed to be playing that game because it's too old. It's too... because it's M-rated. Are we sure he's maybe, a bad boy? Um, it's okay. Maybe to save the money, they just have Mortal Kombat at home. Yeah, obviously most of us kids in the 90s played Mortal Kombat even though we were too young for it, but again, we usually did it when adults weren't watching. That's what I'm saying. You know? There they are. Okay, so... Here's the basic gist of it. In the original incarnations, that's basically what happens. Both Casper and Wendy meet, and since they're both, you know, have Wendy is a witch that doesn't do wicked things, and Casper is a ghost who doesn't like scaring people. So they immediately take to each other because of their common characteristics. Again, credit where credit is due. Once again, they've got a good child act. Or in this case, actors. Yeah. Like, I, I, I guess know, one I thing I can give all three of these movies, they got good child actors. No, no, no. Wendy is definitely the best thing about this movie. They got the characterization right. They got they got a great a great child actress to play her. The look is spot on. Honestly, I wouldn't I have minded really getting have a film series about Wendy, her. Regarding Wendy, I have no complaints. Yeah, regarding Wendy herself, I have no complaints. Oh my! Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The way he raised those eyebrows here, it's like Casper. Did you ever crush on Wendy before Cat came along? <laughs> also, don't um, trust what you can't see. You don't trust the wind. I can. Uh, I can. I can uh, uh, well, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. To be fair, this job, but this movie only kind of mildly hints at something like that at the end of it. That being said. Um, Outside of that, no. Casper oh, and Winnie are just friends. Okay, that's did, fair. Do we have to bring this again? This is apparently whimsy. You know, how sad is it that the child actress here probably does the whole pretending that something that's not there is there better than a lot of the adult actors in Spirit of Beginning did? That said, I will agree that so far this does oh, feel. Oh, this is a Christmas movie now. Oh God. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. I'm getting Tio. flashbacks to, Tio. Getting flashbacks to the weasel. Make it go away, Okay, Tio, uh, Tio, I, I'm sorry about this. I think that may have been scarier than anything in Krampus. Like, holy cow. <laughs> it's the Uncanny Valley thing. What is it about I'm Uncanny Valley? Incre- I'm kind of incredibly alert to it. We are not so different, you and I. See, Shana, it's like I said. You have a shit family, I have a shit family. Let's be Let's friends. Let's be friends. And now it's time for a montage of fun. Yep. And the other girls look at Wendy like she's playing with a ghost. Which she is, so well done. That's the joke. Also, this oh, is walk more man. like the one. This music sounds like more fitting for a surfing montage. It's like that one um, edit for you I watch where uh, Nick is sitting by himself on a blanket because no one else can see them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that effect was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, I think I think in terms of songs. Um, I've heard better songs from Saban than the Digimon movie. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, okay. We're only 40 minutes in, but I already have to say, yeah, this is already quite a big improvement over the original because, don't get me wrong, yeah. it's still not particularly great. But, yeah, Spirit of the Beginning was a complete and mitigated disaster. This, on the other hand, is tolerable so far. Honestly, you know... It also it... helps that the only Duff is genuinely really good in this role. Yeah, like, I will say this. For the most part, this feels more like a made-for-TV prequel to Casper, whereas Spirited Beginning just felt like the most El Cheapo... Yeah. ...god-awful abomination. Which honestly I mean, makes me wonder... Still, the oh. plot itself is still not great, but they managed to get the two title characters right, at least. Like, again, at the very least, this feels something like, I can easily see, okay, uh, what? Reference to Wizard of Oz, so. Yep. Huh. Well, honestly, almost everyone does that joke with witches at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, like, I mean, this, this at least feels like something that I could call a TV-made prequel. Wait, wait, so... Witches' brooms are now dogs. You just whistle for them to come here. At least, at, at least it seems to be a unique thing for Wendy. Uh, my question is that again, you were shown that you were supposed to do a little bit of magic, so shouldn't these actually attract your attention? Where did he get that motorcycle from? Oh, look at that! I'm surfing on my. Okay, yeah, physics are gone now. Come on, apparently. come on, guys! It's the '90s. Are you even surprised we have a surfing montage? Kawabunga, yo. Maybe that's why the song sounds like it. Like I said, Joe, a very gnarly dude. Uh, I'll I'll take bullshit physics for two hundred dollars, Jova. But Pedro, <clears throat> magic. I don't have to explain crap. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we can't say crap because uh, the kids are movie. Not, never mind how much the Casper movie got away with swearing. Don't get me wrong. I don't. Don't get me wrong. I do. In, I do kind of enjoy these these interactions. But I will say the whole friends who don't know they're, why they're supposed to be enemies thing was done much better in Fox and the Hound. I'll say that. Also, Jova, I am still convinced that the dad said fuck in the last movie. Me too! Oh, yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. Like, seriously, I hope that wasn't just me who heard that, because... Oh, you think that's funny, Chiroi? There's this moment in the Wing Commander movie where it does sound like a guy calls somebody Mr. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have seen a movie by Jason Fox. And I'm not kidding, that's the guy's name. Yeah, but it was, was a major producer okay. on all the things, Jova. It says Fook, it's, it said as Fuchs, but uh, yeah. Also, who are you supposed to be in terms of Sunny actor? Sonny Bright, I'm guessing he's the main hotel guy. Let's see his actor. 
Oh. One of the vocal lines in Splatoon 3 makes it sound like Fry is saying oh. what the fuck. Yeah, hey, this character. This, yeah, I'm okay. Never mind. No, I'm done trying to be forgiving. No, these guys are clear. These three characters are clearly here for Ocus Pocus energy. Clearly, like they're, def they're that's definitely what they're going for. I wouldn't even mind that if they did more, but they're mainly just lounging around. And, and you know, what? I get it. Wendy is supposed to be the main star, but honestly, wasn't there supposed to be some conflict with a wizard or something? Uh, eventually, Jova. Eventually. I was gonna be like, yeah, there's another character with, like, a magic oh, mirror sure, and right. stuff. Sure, right, sure, right, sure, right. We came up with a one-hour plot, but we need to stretch this into 90 minutes somehow. Oh my god, they did stretch this out. Like, I don't think even Spirited Beginning... Like he said, I that. wonder if Spirited Beginning was supposed to be instead a glorified pilot for a season that never happened. I also, wonder, movie, probably. thanks. I didn't need that. I wonder. We didn't need a lot of things here. If... I wonder if this is why Spirited Beginning pretty much just got the bonus feature treatment since uh -huh. that was. Uh, what? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So when a woman does that, it's cool, I guess. Hmm. Uh, 90s and their double standards. So I'm guessing these two are supposed to be. Me, Kevin Moriarty literally felt that guy's ass. And then call him sugar shorts and ask him when to go steady. Like seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> that would never. <laughs> I guess I'll give Shelley Duvall credit. She's playing the part well. Oh, no, all three actresses are playing their their roles well. It's just that their writing gives them nothing to work with. Wait, how did you recognize her? Lo cartoon 80s logic dictates to me that uh, you can't recognize people on, tr on trench coats and fedora hats. It's because guess, she took guess, the shades I guess, off. I guess witches can't fall over witches. So turtles, yeah, how is she even recognizing her aunts with the glasses on? Like, some, what the fuck? Uh, so, so let me get this straight, Lips. <laughs> turtles with trench coats and fedora hats, unrecognizable. Witches, on the other hand, instantly recognizable. Well, yeah, uh, no. I mean... I mean, the turtles put more effort into um, obscuring their appearances with shadows of the coat. This is just, uh, look, look, they're not even trying. <laughs> well, there you go, there's, um, sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're starting to... Okay. Uh, 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 okay, you're starting to get real creepy, kid. I get that you're, like, 11, but... Okay, she can give as good as she gets, I see. Wow, she literally just uh, gave me the... I have a boyfriend. Uh, okay, this movie is, has kind of a problematic side to it, I see. Uh, also, um, kid, you know without the context of that person being a go ghost, uh, saying all those things raises some red flags. Oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> movie! <laughs> Oh, oh my God. The last five minutes have been going on a rampage. Have you frozen it to the pilot? Back! Yeah, to be fair, Wait. okay, okay, okay. If, I, if I'm going to be fair to the movie, he does get his comeuppance for what he just did. At, at true. The yeah, yeah. True, true, true. <laughs> that being said, it's weird. Like, I didn't figure he was initially Wait, supposed to why, be why the. Why does he have a tracker in Rome? That being said, Shiroi. Uh, one of the witches didn't really get a comeback for what she did to that poor waiter. So yeah, that that dude needs a pay rise. Sure, pay rises will not justify bad working conditions. Jova, yes. oh my god, Jova, you got it right though. Nighty's double standards. The kid get the boy gets his comeuppance, but the witch doesn't. Exactly. Go. God, yeah, because when it's a woman doing it, it's fine apparently. <laughs> Uh, goddammit movie. Okay. Well, you know, I gotta say, these movies are a great compilation for showing how well people can scream. You, you, you know, I'm gonna actually say something. You know, this movie, these movies would be better if the humor had more bite to it. Let me explain what I mean by that. 
Let, don't just have the, the character the character run away for the door. Have her jump out the window. That gives it that. Again, there's a lot of cartoon, better cartoons that usually do that kind of joke. You know, have her jump. Like she's so scared that she jumps off the window and shit like that. You I know, think that's we much funnier than just running away from the door. I think we did kind of get some over the top reactions like that in Spirit of the Beginning. I okay. I gotta give credit to the first movie, though. They definitely had a lot of different variations on the reactions to Ghost. And what the Ghost could do as well, here and there. I get they're on a cheaper budget, Whoa. but they certainly cannot seem to fathom having any other what? reaction other than, Oh, hey, scream and holler and just run away. What is wrong with this movie and all these close-ups? Uh... It's to spook you out to you. Yo. Wait a minute. I just realized something. I just realized something, guys. You know the Oracle? I'm assuming that's the guy showing up in the mirror? Yes. Played by Polly Shore. Oh god, I didn't even notice that! <laughs> that's Wait, the thing! The, the Polly... are disguising as humans, huh, now? They're possessing oh humans, uh, I believe. But also, well, what is... Also, is this guy, like, discount... Uh, this, discount Antonio Banderas? I don't know, but yeah, no. I guess the ironic- you know what's ironic? The reason you probably didn't recognize that guy as Polly Shore is that Polly Shore has been surprisingly... Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Do we need to see this? I'm- and now I'm getting flashback to the Mega Man horrible cartoon of recent with the episodes of Godsman. <laughs> I make a point to stay away from that uh, side of the internet. Make me forget this night. Yeah, even though I do enjoy the way they handle Casper and Wendy themselves, everything outside of those two. Yeah, I suppose these are not, not actually the live action, you know, voice actors, you know, just. Yeah, so is that guy? Oh, 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 oh. Is that Bulk? Oh my no, god, no, is that? Be. Is that Bulk and Skull? No. No, 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 no. The, the other one is not, definitely not Skull. It's just that for a moment, the, the fat one kind of looked like Bulk to me for a bit there, but it's not. Never mind. Anyway, uh... uh what is that getting up to, um... Uh, I'm just checking now. Is that Sinbad? No, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's Sinbad's not a singer. Um... Whatever. Okay. Anyway, but no, I think the reason you didn't recognize Polly Shore is because... He has been He's surprised. Very restrained. Yeah, I know. Like, I mean, he uh, Holly Shore has been surprisingly restrained. Like, sure, there was a bit of the hip hop rap and stuff, but no, he's not really been his usual annoying self in this movie. There you go, Pedro. He can do a character outside of just plain annoying. All right, I just checked uh, the Wikipedia cast list, well, and, to I, be fair. and I didn't Sorry. see. I didn't see the actor who played. Skull, bulk, also, skull, that guy. To be, fair, <clears throat> to be fair, Goofy movie already proved that you can use Polly Shore in a way that works. True. So it's not yeah. like he, he can't. So it's not like he can't work under any circumstances. It's just that most of the time, Hollywood doesn't know how to use them. Also, the, I think the singer, not not the, the not this guy. There was another um, with glasses for singer that looked like a bit Randy Pitchford. Oh my god. No, he's, no he, he's put, probably okay. not him, but you know, he's, he looked like him a bit. Let me put it this way then, just to put that debate to an Oof. end. Okay? Polly Shore in a movie is not necessarily a death knell, however, you have to use him very, and I do mean very sparingly, because he is not main character material. He is, at best, comedy relief material, and even then you still have to be careful about how you use him for that. Anyway, so uh, the guys playing the the guys who are possessed by the ghosts. We have Patrick Richwood who's playing Vinny, who possesses. I'm sorry, who Stinky possesses. Travis McKenna is the one who Fatso possesses, and then the most famous of these guys is Michael McDonald as Spike for Stretch. You may remember him from stuff like Austin Powers, Internal, International Man of Mystery, as the henchman who gets flattened by the steamroller. Hey, Dwebs. Hmm? You better vanish. That way we can save on the budget. <laughs> of course. 
He was also Little John in Halloween Kills. He was Bryce Keen in The Boss and Jonathan in the god awful 2016 yeah, Ghostbusters. Um, his physical comedy is not working in the slightest. No, no, it is not. It's like I. It's like I said, Casper and Wendy, they got right. Everything else, though... It's a, bit, it's a really... It's a mixed bag. It's unfunny. Oh. It's a, it's unfunny. The plot loves to spin its wheels, like Joe had pointed out earlier. Uh, yeah. Like, Casper uh... and Wendy are the only thing keeping this movie afloat. They oh, Ben die. Stein! Ben Stein! Oh, never mind. Okay, no, so they everyone. managed okay, to pull out. There you go, Dribs. They managed the most to. Most consistent thing in the history of these oh. fucking Ben Stein. Oh, well, look, for as much as, look, Ben, for as much as I don't like you, like, how did they drag you into all three of these? Okay, 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 okay. I, I'm okay. Fair, remember, he's the, also the the only returning actor in at the beginning of Son of Mask. I get the idea he's the kind of guy who will accept the paycheck, uh, you know, that easily. Okay, I'm curious. Is there some controversy with Ben Stein that I just don't know about? He lost his party's creationist ideas a yeah. lot. Ah. Yeah, basically, Java, he's a big he's a big creationist guy who loves to misrepresent uh, science to try to further his agenda on people basically okay basically he like he like he's an entertaining actor jova but the actual person yeah not it's not clear that the kind of person who just keep their ideas for themselves yeah oh what Dude, that guy that guy look like randy pitchford well <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, They're setting the stage for something, I guess. I wonder, is the conductor? Oh, oh, oh no, they are actually hey guys, hey guys, doing hey guys, this guys. stuff. Hey guys, hey guys, dun, 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 dun. You know, ever dun, since dun, the movie started, dun, dun. I was having that kind of thought in my mind. Are we gonna actually, the movie, is the movie gonna ship the free aunts with the free uncles? Okay, 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 and lo okay. and behold, if, if, here we are. If it helps you too, once they discover their real identities, that plot, that shipping plot goes away. If I'm guessing you. this is just Casper and Poor Wendy Gagas. playing a prank on them. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Like uh, to be fair, to be fair, the movie doesn't go all the way with that. When they do discover each other's identities, they do stop that. So if that helps you too, there you go. It still feels kind of cheap as a you know as a plot it point is. because it's so obvious. Oh, it is. Like like I said, Casper and Wendy themselves are the only two things holding this movie ab afloat. Like and I, even then, I yeah. will say that aside, it does seem like there's something about this movie that's at least more fun than Spirited Beginning. Mind you, it is not even on par with the original still. But I don't oh, know. Yeah. Something about this one at least feels more, more. Well, oh. I, I don't think the word more is the correct one, Joe. I think it's more so that it's less obnoxious. Like, like it's still obnoxious, but less obnoxious than it's per the beginning, at least. That might be it, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, seriously, kid, what is it with you and this girl? Seriously, this kid is going to grow up to be an incredible psychopath. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to become to be Michael Long or something. The Blue Ranger, everyone! <laughs> Again, oh, I don't remember oh having that much problem with, with that guy, with that kid oh, in Turbo. Go. So now Casper and Wendy are going to have okay. a dance, why not? Okay, I so... think I think the best way to sum up the issue with the Blue Ranger and Turbo, it wasn't so much that the character was terrible, it was that the way the show wrote, it was, ah. the, it was the way the show wrote okay. around him, also cute, yeah. No, 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 Casper, 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 don't you know, with that dress, she doesn't look magical, she looks elegant, according to Beyond Two Souls, that dress is elegant, not se not magical or sexy, elegant, apparently. Also, is this supposed, I, I wonder if this is supposed to be a deliberate small callback to the first movie, in a sense that, uh, you know, Casper was used to do this kind of thing, and but when he tried to do it with Cat, you know, she didn't know how to react. Uh, Maybe, anyway, but, uh... Hey, Shiro. Oh. Hey, Dwim! Yeah. A James also, Bond reference why? For you. What, what? What was the point of that? <laughs> because uh, you've seen sure. James Bond, haven't you? Uh, hey, Dwim, how's this for a James Bond joke? Eh. 
Exactly. Hey, I, sure. mean, I mean, I mean, it's better than any of the James Bond jokes in the 60s Casino Royale. Oof. I guess. I'll say yes, Pedro. Uh, sure. Do you think Casper will will this time get to keep the girl? I'm sorry. I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> this movie's I'm sorry. already had this movie already has its issues. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Well, like I said, well okay, okay, actually, sure. Okay, let me ask you, since we've been talking about it but you haven't said much. Okay, what do you think of Casper and Wendy, the two title characters specifically? They've been cute. Okay. Okay. Anyway, back to the oh, thing about shit. holy crap. No, okay, sure. Now he definitely wants to keep her. <laughs> like, yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Like, dude, back up. <laughs> and my point <laughs> is, okay, okay, I'll be honest. Maybe I misinterpreted how the movie started off with him. But at first, I just initialized him as, oh, the kid was a bit interested in the girl, but I didn't take him to be an outright creep like that. But no, apparently he is. Anyway, I mean, though. I, I, okay, to so the movie's credit, they do portray him as the closest thing. This, well, well, okay, not the closest thing. They do portray him as an antagonist. So it's not like the movie condone, con, condones his actions. So of that's course, fine, yeah. I guess. Oh, no, 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 I get that. It's just that him suddenly becoming an antagonist felt like it came out of nowhere with that bout, where suddenly he took the leap from, no, you're going to be mine. Like, you know, I, prob I probably should have picked alcohol for these two movies. Alas, it's a bit too late for that. Okay, I will say the alcohol is less needed for this movie than Spirited Beginning. I'll speak. I'll be the judge of that for myself. Thank you, Jova. <laughs> Uh-oh. Remind me, uh, which of you guys here grew up watching Hilary Duff in their Disney career? Um, I watched a few episodes of Lizzie McGuire. Uh, uh, okay, in that case, like, um, uh, sorry. No, go, go on. on. You were saying? Okay. Um, well, sure, okay, what do you think of this when it comes to her, what do you think of her debut here? Yeah, she's fine here. Like, yeah. You know, child actors are very hit and miss, but no, I think she's doing fine. Oh no, like, Hilary okay. Duff was definitely always a good actress. Like, even on her Disney Channel stuff, she was one of the good ones. I think she was the first one who ever did those very famous Disney one sequences as well for the bumpers. Honestly, was, <laughs> honestly for for as much more successful as, as as she is, I always, as the other one is, I always thought Hilary Duff was much a much better actress than Miley Cyrus, to be honest with you. <laughs> Because when I, because because what little I watched of Vanna Montana, yeah, Miley's acting in that show is. Uh, eh, it's been a while since I've seen that show. I recall liking it back in the day. It definitely had some bumps in the road, though. Anyway, Tio, to point out the issue with the Blue Ranger here, it wasn't so much that the kid himself was awful. It was just that they do that usual thing they do when they're trying to shoehorn the kid character. Make everyone around the kid character seem pretty dumb, so it justifies the kid character often saving the day here and there. Jova, you just summed up, um, like, 99% of the things in a nutshell. I think my standard for Power Rangers were relatively low by that point, then. Yeah, that these guys are right. It looks like Randy Peach for you. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. What? <laughs> so, <if> I... <laughs> Merry Christmas. So, so was it? It's like when the CBD eventually <laughs> froze in 2010 on how the non sequitur to a, you know, a real life tragedy worked. You know? yeah. <laughs> I'm curious, like, so wait, so was their plan to have them hook up so that they realize that ghosts and witches can commune? Or, like,. Yeah, that's the thing, Joe. But supposedly, yes, but the movie doesn't really do a good job explaining that. Like, it, you'd think that's the case, but the movie doesn't really actually properly establish it well. So, is this going to count as the second act breakup? Oh, boy. Why do you even need to explain? Okay, 
okay, the effects are still bad, but not as much as the previous movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I said, they're, they're, they're not really good, but no, I can see the improvements from Spirited Beginning. Okay, with all due respect, why did Casper and Wendy have to reveal that they were behind this? Like, Yeah, they had no reason to do it. Because conflict. Hilarism. I mean, I'm going to become a ghost later. I should know. Yeah, you realize, honey, that when you die, you also become a ghost, right? It's, for the I... record, uh, for, for the record, this whole uh, this whole ghosts and witches are mortal enemies thing. This was not in the source material for the record. I mean, yeah. I'm sure so, that's actually gonna happen. Yeah, considering how the previous movie went, I get the idea this is not gonna happen. I would hope they don't do that repeat of, oh, for some reason she thinks that Casper betrayed her, like in Spirited Beginning. I, okay, if I remember correctly, I think they do, kind of, but don't quote me on it just yet. These understandings are so fun, kids. Yeah, to be fair, misunderstandings can work in me. In, oh, they in couldn't even proper to add the Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a bad right. guy. Look, look at it this way, too. Like, uh, one of um, the best game by Yoko Taro is all about how hate is permanent on, on uh, misunderstanding. You know? <laughs> True, but with, 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 much, with much less cream. We literally just got to uh, see. Well, obviously. That just you know, proves my point. It's all about execution, too. You know, I love how we literally just had a scene with the bad guy pacing back and forth, and you guys didn't even bother with it, because that's probably as much as the movie cares about the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Again, it's similar to Kabosh in the previous movie, Jovan. Just exist, but and I'm guessing it's only going to be a relevant matter at the very end. I don't get this. You get some of these top-notch actors, and you barely use them. Yeah. You know, in a lot of ways, these does feel kind of a retread of a previous movie. And you know what's weird, honestly? This movie has a bigger budget than Spirit of Beginning, but arguably has... Oh, guys, guys, did you see Jova? A little callback to the original film, where they did the whole, whole time war looks pinky toe thing. Fi they did the whole pinky toe thing, like pinky swear thing. Ah, the internet in the 90s with incredibly grainy video and connection that you would practically need magic to have work fast. Download a small pe JPEG in glorious 144. I, I remember how back in the early 2000s I downloaded the entire episodes in Real Player. Yeah, remember Real Player? Oh boy, it's Real Player. How long did it take to get those? Probably an hour, I'm assuming. Yes. Like, but, uh, but and it was extremely low res, very pixelated anti, so I, I had to squint to even tell what was going on in those episodes. <laughs> uh, hey. Yeah, early 2000s internet kind of sucked a bit. <laughs> oh, let me guess. Casper's gonna accidentally let slip that the witches can't afford to use magic and then the ghosts are going to operate on this and then that'll lead to a misunderstanding. Well, well let's see. Not enough. So yeah, now Casper is cosplaying as Cousin It, apparently. Um... <laughs> We're like 30, less than 30 minutes away from the ending. And I had to be blunt, not much has happened in the movie so far. No. God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Anything, there's, also, there's also a fact that we stayed for the most part in just this location, this resort, who is not interesting in the slightest. Yes, Jova? I guess... Casper and Wendy's relationship has been built up on good, so I wouldn't say nothing has happened, but yeah, in some ways it does feel like less stuff happens here than in Spirited Beginning. Oh, Spirited oh, Beginning oh, the entire oh, time oh, no. was a back and forth between different buildings. Oh, oh no. What, lips? A movie with a lot of CGI in it that mostly takes place in one building and half the jokes aren't even funny. Oh wait, here we go. <laughs> This is the 
earwig of the witch of deep directed <gasps> video. Wow. Not I don't think that was even a full minute right after he promised Wendy and he let slip that they can't use their powers. Guess what? Guess what's gonna be Wendy's reaction to this? Casper, you betrayed me. I never want to see you again. My aunts were right. All ghosts are evil. You know, the, the one thing that is missing is actually a, a lie revealed kind of story. That the circle will be completely. Despite the fact that we've been hanging out the entire movie and you seem cool, I'm gonna hate you now. Eh? Okay, if I can give, okay, if I can give this inspirited beginning some credit, I do feel like the actors for the ghosts sound similar enough to the actors from the original movie. The jokes are pretty cringe. Okay, you know, again, for all the problems the first movie had, I feel like, and maybe this it is just my... This, it, it did not have this ungodly amount of bad puns. Like, no, yeah. I mean, again, to give the Animaniacs writers credit, a lot of their talent did shine through on the Casper movie. I don't even think that movie is really all bad. It's a movie that has potential, which could have been realized in a proper sequel. Not these godforsaken cheapo prequels. And yes, okay, to give credit, this one is much, much better than Spirited Beginning. However, being higher than zero is not the most amazing feat. No. Again, the only reason this movie's not as on par with Spirit Beginning is, most, is only really because of Casper and Wendy. If Casper and Wendy were badly handled, this movie would really have nothing. And honestly, to, to me, it still wrote really much, to be honest. Yeah, no, I can see what Teo means, because while they do get Casper and Wendy right, they don't, they're not in the movie enough, really. I will say this, a lot of this movie's appealing factor to me does come from the fact that it's not ungodly annoying like Spirited Beginning. So honestly, if Spirited Beginning weren't a factor, yeah, I probably would have a lower opinion of this movie. Oh no. She has to use her powers, and now she finally shows up on the radar. On the, on the Desmond uh, Terry Raw. Well, crap. I'm guessing these two are supposed to be golems, just modern types of yeah. golems. Remember, that's how they, they basically got started, mm -hmm. not generated. Except these golems can literally conjure giant machine uh, guns, so... Machine It's the de-witching hour. <laughs> Very funny. So is this instead going to be another type of those uh, self-repeating prophecy, but because he tries to yes. interfere, Thank that's you. exactly how things are going to go you know, in, in his disfavor. Wait, what did she just say? Get your phantom fannies out of here? What? Get it? Alliteration. It's a rare thing. And I guess you now be... they appreciate you may... her. You may be awful to me, but you're still family, so... Yay. Hooray. Ha! Get it? They can't say ass. It's a kids' movie, and oh, but look at this! Now the the creepo kid stole the one. Ugh. At least we're making everything come drunk together, I guess. Okay, literally, just have Casper possess the kid, and that should probably solve stuff. Oh wait, that's right. Casper got stuff down a toilet too. And God he knows where. Do possession, as far as I remember. Okay, that was kind of funny. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. What? Uh, oh, oh. Wow, that is phenomenally 
bad comedic dialogue right now. Yeah. Like, Jesus, what the fuck? Hey, they were just talking about E.T. and they made an E.T. reference. Clever. Oh, here we go. Here it comes, Jova. <sighs> yes, Jova. This is another one of those movies where the plot points can easily be telegraphed by you know any one of us, and we're so goddamn painful because of that. Right. Now the movie just kind of ruined the one, the, the two good things it had going for it. Ah, um, they'll probably have a makeup when Casper shows that he's on the made, level by yeah, they, returning they, 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 her they, wand. It's beat for beat. You know, uh, you, you know one other thing I really don't like about Liar Revealed stuff? This isn't even a Liar Revealed one, but do go ahead. When, 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 when they act all upset at that, they don't even give the other side a chance to explain or anything. Like, let them explain it. If you still don't believe them, then fair enough. But no, you're just like, no, I'm too upset with you. Go! Mm. Like, what, 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 if, what, what if it was really important? But no, you feel better about yourself. That's just kind of gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't, I can't believe it either, but I'm siding with the friggin' ghost. Oh, I guess that Very was enough job. for him to drop the argument. Okay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know Casper's doing the exact same thing. Look you, look, you guys may say so, but I know you cared for those witches. Actually, we were. Actually, we don't. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry, director? Also, why writer? He, why does this guy have a car that he's, you know, teamed after an eight, you know, pool ball? But you were flirting with them. Like, yeah. writer, directors, was there a scene from that argument missing that you may have cut out in post-production? <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry, sorry, Wendy, I have... I'm sorry, Wendy, I don't want to hear your side of the argument. After all, you do the same thing now, come on. Yeah, and, and yes, I know, I know the whole thing about character flaws, but um, they have to make sense, you know? So, I have to wonder, like Tia suggested, is it going to be about where it turns out that the prophecy is fulfilled by this guy hunting down Wendy, and that's what leads to her becoming the most powerful sorceress, or sorcerer, or whatever? All right, I'm probably Jova. I don't know. Like, the, 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 okay, the, the, remember Jova. The whole this is basically a Snow White type story. Like, uh, she's prophesized to become a better sorcerer than him, so he wants to kill her to stop that from happening. It's basically a Snow White type of scenario. To be fair, um, this is kind of akin to the Harry Potter series when you think about it. Yeah. Like, Voldemort tried to kill Harry over a prophecy and whatnot. So I wouldn't classify it to just Snow White in that regard. Well, wasn't this before? When did the first Harry Potter book come out? Uh, uh, around this time, actually. Hold on, let me check. Yeah. In the, the second of the mid-90s. Because I'm pretty sure they didn't take this from Harry Potter, so I'm pretty sure the Snow White was probably the inspiration. The first Harry Potter book came out in 1997. Yeah, like you said, around this so time. So a year before this movie. It's possible, but at the same time, it's perfectly possible okay. that it's a coincidence. Okay, it look, really... look, look, okay, look. My point is that I wouldn't really say they were taking this from Snow White, really. Like, plenty of stories have had the bout of the villain going after the hero or heroine because of a prophecy here and there. Sure. Well, Debs, well, Debs in, when it comes to your argument, okay, let me put it this way. Okay, let, 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 imagine this scenario. Imagine you catch me in a room, uh, there's a person... Uh, dead on the floor 
covered in blood, and I have a knife, a, a, a knife full of blood on my on on my hand. Like, would your immediate reaction be, okay, Pedro, explain? Well, a little bit. My, I have my doubts that you would be so cool-headed, amazingly to the point of just calmly yeah, saying, yeah, okay, okay, Pedro, okay, explain. Okay, okay actually, pay, okay, Pedro, to be honest, that's a bit of a false. Well, you say well. You talked. You talked about the whole, you know, not letting the other explain thing. Yeah, that was still is a bit of a false equivalence. I mean, think is like. I mean, sometimes people just act rationally and don't, uh, and and let their emotions overturn their judgment. You know. I will say this. I do get where Dribs is coming from about how that can be a very annoying plot point. Like, and there are some cases where you can literally tell it's only done just to prolong the plot. Especially if the character who doesn't let a character A explain stuff comes off as a hypocrite. Yeah, though, I mean... That's part of the rescue. Okay, right. time to save the day. I know it's not exactly... I didn't like that bit in um, Uncharted 4. Pop, preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, purple spark equals bad, I guess. Purple yeah, is usually done out of context as a droid, means nobility, poison, but I thought she's evil. But I thought. Well, here I am fulfilling your wish. How can you hurt him? He's a ghost. Well, magic. <laughs> a ghost. Remember, Pedro, ghosts fear witches, so that kind of implies which magic um, can hurt them. Hold on. Not only are you a fucking creep, you're also a fucking moron. You have a fucking amazing magical device that can literally do anything. <laughs> And you, what you do is you break it with a hammer. That's okay. what you wanted to do. Oh my God! So, did it? This, would be, this did... would be like this would be like if Bomber, were, uh, Bomber got all the seven Dragon Ball and just threw them into the garbage. Okay, okay, okay. Like, that actually, just what's going on in the movie? Did the Wantus turn them into horses? Apparently so. Yes. Huh. I guess there's his come up. Well, okay, he's already gotten come up and stupid. There's some extra come up my guess Bro. is, my guess is he just wanted revenge on Wendy, so he was gonna even break the wand for that. You know what they say, Tail? A boy who doesn't behave might as well be a jackass. <laughs> but they returned into horses, not donkeys. That's oh. the same thing, though. S same, same principle. <sighs> so he's gonna send her to hell? Yeah, like uh, Dr. Facilier did this better. Why not better. just kill her? Why this? Because... Gonna need to overcomplicate things, Rovo. Yeah. Gotta find a kid-friendly way to kill her, I guess. Ow. <laughs> oh no! He turned it into cartoons! Badly rendered CG cartoons at that. <laughs> The Mystic Abyss. Yeah, come on, just uh, call it, it hell. It was, actually it was actually foreshadowed before, but Polly Shore suggested, uh, Mirror suggested it. No, 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 that's just his job. It's like an Airform gym. It's the planet heck. So. Yeah, you can't call it hell because. Well, oh. Yeah, one can't go through solid matter. Yeah. Uh, Casper, Windows. Casper, you could just eat the wand. No, that doesn't work, Dips. Um, now remember, anything solid would be caught through still, according to the movie's logic. Okay, was it able to it look like Wendy was trying to... <laughs> Never mind. It's like she desperately needed the loo. The composer is also trying, but goddamn. I'm so uninvested at this point. Not gonna lie. Oh, no. No, I, I understand. I'm not. Well, I'm not invested. I'm not invested either. I, I should be better with these both.
if I put a story that's just a chicken crossing the road, you have no reason to care because I didn't give you a reason. Chickens crossing the road are not exactly something worth caring about. Like, to be fair, <laughs> Animaniacs did an entire skit to manage to make it work with that. But, yeah, but that was a comedy skit, not a story. <laughs> Mate, hurry up. Just don't cross the stream. So... Oh, he actually put her there. Nice. There you go, Dwebs. Karma. There you go. Happy now? Spur anymore, just like he wanted. <laughs> Digimon, you Digimon. <laughs> So why not just close the portal now? Close the portal. They're literally stuck in there. Now you are thinking with portals. Yes. Okay. Good. Close it. Okay. To close it. Key wrong. Yes, it should be digital. Oh my god! Be, oh my! Oh, oh my god! You know what this reminds me of? Dwebs and Tail. Mm -hmm. The climax of Big Hero Six. I am satisfied. <laughs> I am satisfied with my care, Baymax. <laughs> <laughs> This presents a problem. You know, this so the end of this film this whole part has all been called Wendy Wait, 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 wait. Did did Casper just use the force to draw her back? How did she come back? S E T Oh wait, right, you're right. Well John Willem still though. No, seriously, how? She was literally being sucked up. No, no, Pedro, it's... I was trying to do the binary suns theme, because that's usually the theme that's associated with, with uh, Luke. The sure, you don't oh, really that. to see anything at this point. Huh? Um, Shiroi.exe is uh, had a count of the problem and had to close. We apologize to the. Uh, you should see, guys. Shiroi got sucked into the mystic abyss. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, I was saying, with all the flashing and the low resolution, are you able to see? Well, she, you oh yeah, no, no. I had to like back out for a bit. Well, basically, Shiroi, not Voldemort here, opened uh, up the gates to hell. Get the it? Mystic abyss, as they call it. Get it? Uh, in, in, and then they got stuck into it. So this really is like me not being able to watch the end of Krampus. Also, on, get it? In typical witch fashion, they hate it when they look sexy because then they think they're repulsive that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh look at that! The nigga time to save the day. The uncles. No way. And this, some, and this is enough to make him trip into the fucking Mystic Abyss. There you well, go. Wendy's broom also did help. Though. Oh god, that effect looks terrible. Yeah. And he missed. He didn't even friend with Bye. yanking on her. He didn't even try. It's like it's like the bit where Grandpa Joe and Charlie are trying to get away from the um, from the fan until they come up with a burping solution. They were, uh, you know, I know with it. So I go. Barely. It's time for, I think it's time for the apology moment. I think. Yeah. Now when I think about it, this is probably between the three movies. This is the one that's more action based for its climax. So. Huh? Yeah. How weird. No, this is literally the climax of two kids being saved from going to hell. I swear I, I remember this concept being present somewhere else. Haunted Mansion 2003? I remember so little about that movie, sorry, Drova. There we go. We do care about you after all! The generous, not the generous, they kick she call her Little Red, eh? Because, you know... Reference. Little Red, Little Wart, aww. Little Red Hillary Duff. I can't believe Casper is totally dead. 
He already was. Yeah. It's the I thought that was kind of the point. Ejova, Ejova. Maybe the, we could have had a Muppet turn around and run to Casper was dead. This one's probably shot him. <laughs> but but Casper has always been dead. He's a ghost. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Reminds me, I have to show that movie oh, to bed just now. Love all these two. Um... I guess those two will just retire since they won't be turned into milkshakes now. That, 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 that's, uh... <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give you that one. That was funny. Like, uh, the, the, the boots look at each other. Let's get some breakfast. Yeah, how about some French toast? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, their uh, boss okay, is pretty then, much dead, so might as well. The man just went, huh? Hey, Shirley, our villain boss just got killed. Wanna get lunch? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised uh, you didn't answer yes, yeah, since uh, you keep talking about how you how you have a big appetite and shit. So. I already had dinner. Look at that, guys. A witch and a ghost can make it together. But can this marriage be saved? It's not a, to, uh, yeah. Again, to much to again to alleviate tale, it uh, they do just become friends. Oh God! And I thought I was rid of you. Oh my oh, God! Why? I w oh my God, Theo, you we were right. See, by Desmond now dying, Wendy is now the most powerful witch. Which again, self-fulfilling prophecy. Again, again. So Wendy's gonna be queen of the witches. Again, to give him credit, Polly sure is not ungodly annoying in this one, surprisingly. Well, he's barely in it, so it's not like there's a chance for him to be that. No, 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 no. I mean, even in the scenes where he shows up, he is fine. He's sure. to be better than his one. Really I, mean, I mean, he's mostly just here for exposition, so obviously it's not like they ask him to, to uh, do crazy shit. All right, and now time for the um, the farewell. Hey, Dwips. Mm -hmm. How about this? Uh, um, if the dub was made in this year, how about this? Hillary Duff as Kiki. Um, I mean, I mean, that sounds fine-ish. I mean, she's she's the correct age uh, yeah. in this movie. Huh, yeah. is that supposed to be a reference to how he meets another girl in the original movie? Possibly yes, possibly no. Honestly, I'm not giving this movie any any credit because this movie's stupid. Honestly, again, I'm sorry. If anything, these prequels are just making me appreciate the original movie all the more. Aww. See, Wendy just gave him a kiss in the cheek. How cute. Right now, the ATV could be. Da, 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 da. Oh, please and... don't tell me dance like this. So... Oh, you oh. again. <laughs> yes. To coordinate. <laughs> I oh. do like how. I do like the. the it's a shame that, that these two couldn't be on their own more time because um i do like the casual dynamic like uh, i'm starting to miss desmond eh, it's a living <laughs> so long sunny bright resort you were such a lady it's been people. real friendly don't tell me there's and an after credit it. scene is there oh my god no, kathy no. moriarty is top billing so there you go that was the casper meets wendy movie and the end of the casper live action trilogy well yeah. it's a better way to end than spirited beginning but spirited beginning was like tunneling through the bottom and tunneling all the way down to hell so yeah this is an improvement by not being a complete blight on humanity yeah. oh which is Kaya. interesting because the climax, which is interesting because the climax of this movie is escaping from hell. Okay, so. to give it credit Kaya though, first. yeah, no, go on. Um, I mean, oh, I like what Joe was said just then. Um, yeah, it's like with the previous movie, it's like trudging through hell. 
Here you just go straight down, you get to there, and then you're stuck there for like 90 minutes wondering, now what? So, better or worse than the first, I mean, sorry, better or worse than Spirited Beginning? A little better. I mean, this movie at least makes up for its bad jokes by being completely insane. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh... And again, I, I was I wasn't minding the main characters too much. I mean, they're nothing special, but um, they were fine up until that stupid scene near the end. Again, you know, again, again, okay, yeah, like you know what? You didn't even give him a chance to explain. Fine, you know, just let him let him go away. Then you can you can get your wish and not see him again. I hate when I hate when movies do that. It's like it kind of makes both kind of kind of makes the one who who's supposed to be angry come off as the more immature one. I'm not sure that's usually the intent with these things. Mm. <laughs> um, as for the jokes, well, I mean, I mean, uh, unlike the last movie where I could count the number of funny jokes on one hand, here I can count them on um. A bit of both, so <laughs> that's an improvement, I guess. Um, I mean, the CGI is still pretty bad, although maybe not quite as bad as the first time. I'm getting the feeling a lot of that increased budget went into, I don't know, those tunnel effects at the end. Okay, I'm, to give them credit, this movie does look noticeably better than Spirited Beginning. Yep. Well, it's not bad by much, uh, I've got to say. No, oh, no, no, no. I, I do agree with that, but no, I mean, I'd say this at least looks like something I can believe had the budget made for a TV-made movie, where Spirited Beginning didn't even look like it was worth the budget of a short, let alone an hour-long live-action animated movie. Well, well, Spirited Beginning felt like it was like the Sonic fan film. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that is the perfect analogy. Well, um, well, I mean, at least I mean, this trilogy started off kind of mediocre, and it ends kind of mediocre, so... <sighs> okay, yeah, I, guess. I, I, I can't agree that the first movie was as mediocre as these prequels, like... Just, no, I, uh, the original, I'd say, is leaps and bounds above these. That's it... I mean, the first the first movie had a really good uh, Owen James Horner score. It had the uh, at the very least good acting all around, and it had you know, it some was, good it, writing it, it, it at the very least. Like, it, it was a movie made by people who, at the very least, were clearly f competent filmmakers. Obviously, their effort was misjudged a lot of the time, but go on, please. Nah, it's just um, just it's just kind of. There and um, yeah, I, I mean, and from what I can, it's kinds of movies that are directed video. I haven't even seen them, but there was one other that they did. It was some film about a dog, and and, and that was it. The Shaggy Dog. After that, no. Um, <laughs> after Rangers and uh, Digimon stuff until Saban got bought by Disney. Oh, so, you're um, okay. So you're still talking about Saban in that regard? Yeah. I mean, and that pretty much sums it up. I, I do mean, wonder yeah. if the reason the budget for this is bigger is because even Saban noticed. Okay, guys. Given how Spirited Beginning looks like, literally, Hell's is poop animated on the screen. We gotta at least do something better. All right, Shiro, final thoughts, please. Um, I don't know if this might be worse than the previous one. Really? It's just a lot more awkward and, yeah. Um, well, uh, let me the remember, Jova, like me and Shiro to... said, like me and Shiro hmm? said, Jova, that kid clearly wants to keep Wendy. Okay, Gigi, Shiro, what's your reasoning <laughs> for this being worse than Spirited Beginning? It's a lot more problematic. Ah. Uh, it's a lot more uncomfy. Even more than the that. scene with the father abusing his kid? 
Yeah, because that was one scene, and then this has sprinkles of things. Uh, Not to mention, like I said, I'm still really like it's 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 for two reasons. One, like the whole double standards thing that we that me and Jova talked about. True. Second, uh, the fact again, waiters have to put up with a lot of crap. I know because I'm M1, and they definitely and... don't need this. No, we don't. <laughs> Fuck off, lady. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds Go me on. of that video of that girl trying to pull something with a Gaston actor at Disneyland, but he pretty much just point out that that's against the terms of regulations. I don't know if he did that in character, but that just adds to the irony when you're told off by flipping Gaston for sexual assault. Yeah, people get people get really weird with Disney actors, like you know, at the parks and yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, it's more so the it's more so you know a few more problematic stuff compared to the uh, the other movie. <laughs> The CG was at least a lot better. I didn't feel like my eyes were bleeding from looking at it, save from <laughs> flashing in that last scene. Uh, I don't know. I, in general, I feel I feel like there was also less of a plot than the last one, and the last one didn't have much of a plot anyway. I do get where you're going for on that one. A lot of this is Casper, you know, having a fun time with Wendy, but in terms of the overall plot with Desmond Spellbound, God, Paperfin doesn't even begin to describe how little they actually remember that they have a villain, let alone actually use yeah. him. I honestly forgot about him until one of you brought him up midway through the movie. One scene is literally just him pacing back and forth while his henchmen are sleeping. Yeah. And we cut away just as quickly. The two main leads are great. Like, they're the best thing in this movie. Without a doubt. They're just, like, being very cute. But I don't think it's enough to justify an hour and a half of movie. They really could no. just have made this an hour, especially as it was going direct to DVD anyway. I don't understand why you would need a full-length movie, but whatever. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. It just, there was more to discuss with the last movie and this one's just sort of, it yeah. lacks so much, but also does so much wrong still. It, I, I don't know. I think a good way to put it is like, well, it feels like this movie is trying, the keyword being trying to be a much better movie than Spirited Beginning. But at the end of the day, it can only hit that ceiling so far. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Pretty terrible movie. Alright, Jova. <sighs> I'm still gonna hold that this is better than Spirited Beginning. That being said, it does still have its own problems. Like, again, the double standards. Like, oh, when the boy comes on too much to the girl, he gets punished, as he should. But the witches don't. Unless we're supposed to assume that all this crazy stuff happening to them is comeuppance. But even still, the guy who does it is the bad guy, so... He has to get defeated. I guess. I will give it this. I do feel like they did a fine enough job with the whole getting ghosts to reconcile with witches thing. And I say fine in the sense that they did what they could in this hour and a half film. Could have been better. Could have been worse. I will say the effects also did see a bit of an upgrade. Again, 6.5 million dollars. It's sad that that is a noticeable upgrade from the last one, only because Spirited Beginning was just so unbelievably cheap. And all the same, though. All the same, I am still frustrated that the original movie getting a sequel was decided by these two prequels, which are... Like, no, they are not on par quality-wise with it. And I still don't understand the logic engaging making a proper sequel off of these. That being said, I would not have minded if we got a Wendy spin-off from this one with Hilary Duff, cause nah, she does the part very well. And again, once again, the kid actor playing Casper, he's great too. Like, no, like, thankfully, this is a case where the two main leads are on point. That is good. 
If it weren't for them, this movie might, might have still been bad enough for me to actually consider it worse than Spirited Beginning. And trust me, I don't say that lightly, but no, the two main leads are so good that they are able to carry a lot of this movie and drag it across the tier line to... I'm gonna say mediocre, like, fine, feels like it's still too much of a compliment for this. Because outside of the good bouts with Casper and Wendy, there is little to nothing of substance. The uncles are dicks, the aunts are dicks, they learn not to be dicks as much, even though that'll probably be forgotten given how the original movie goes for Casper. Oops. Also, self-fulfilled prophecy, we were literally calling some of the plot lines here. And look, if I can call something, that doesn't automatically mean it's a bad thing. But when it's, uh, but when it's one of those annoying plop-outs, like of course, the misunderstanding, the fake betrayal, or the liar revealed, I just cringe so hard at its execution. Especially when the execution isn't good. Ugh. Um... Yeah, no, what was up with the... What was up with Justin from Power Rangers? Like, Blue Ranger Kid was a creep. And the thing yeah. is, he doesn't even start off as a creep. Like, he just escalates after the arcade scene at the pool, essentially, where he goes, No, you will go to the dance with me! Like some Machiavellian villain or something. Oh my god, Jopa. Oh my god, Jopa, I just realized. What? O original film Casper is a more low-key version of this kid. Because think about this. He's a creep about it, and he wants to take Wendy to a dance. Just like how Casper wants to take Cat to the dance. And he's also creepy about it. Although, like I said, much low, much more low-key in comparison to this kid. So, so what? You're saying I that Casper... This kid, got... rubbed, this kid rubbed up on Casper, apparently. There Again! Go, there's a continuity. <laughs> how wonderful. Yeah, I know this movie still sucks. Like, honestly... It is sad how this trilogy turned out here. Now granted, yes, the aspects of the characters here can work, but once again, the biggest flaw is the story writing. It's not endearing, and if we're not focusing on a fun scene between Casper and Wendy, it is either just bad, stupid, or worst of all, boring. Seriously, the final climax is not even really that exciting, because it goes more or less exactly the way we call it, and badly, if I'm to be honest. Hey, again, mm -hmm. wizard guy. Uh, okay, so, uh, okay, the implication is that the oracle in the mirror suggested tossing Wendy into that vortex of doom or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder, why did Desmond not just, you know... Kill her. Like, I know it's not kid-friendly, but my dude, I'm pretty sure you have plenty of other spells that could just kill her. Or heck, shoot her. They literally, in fact, he literally did try having his henchmen shoot her from the get-go. <laughs> but nope, gotta do it this uber special way, and I guess this is how the prophecy goes about, except... I'm sorry, this implies that Wendy is, like, only the second most powerful being? So, like, is she really just that powerful? What the heck? Don't you see, Jova? She's the chosen one, like Harry Potter. Sure. Uh, like, even Harry Potter had more nuance to it than that, but... Nah, man, this plot ain't it. Again, if now, if this were a movie just focusing on Casper and Wendy getting along and having fun, that might have actually, sadly, have been a better movie than what we got here. Because otherwise... What about, the hmm? what about the poor Ben's Hocus Pocus elements? Yeah, right, I nearly forgot about them. The aunts. Um, they're all acted well. The problem is, they don't really do much in the plot, rather than laze around, yell at uh, Wendy. I guess we do see them cast some spells here and, and there, yeah. but... I'm sorry, Jello, but I'm going to have to add to what you just said. And they also fill up uh, male waiters' asses, because that's charming. Yeah, because, you know, it's funny when a woman does that to a man. Ha 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 ha, yeah, whatever. Um, no, it's not. And, and you know what? To give Hocus Pocus credit, if the witches ever did that, 
They, it was never, ironically, the witches in Hocus Pocus had better manners than these witches. And they were child murderers. Goddamn. Yeah. Like, sure, yeah, they flirted. Well, okay, that was more so um, Sarah who flirted, but that was in her character to be the flirt. And it's not like she felt up, men. If anything, you know, they, you know, back and forth flirting, regardless. I shouldn't even really be dissecting this that much here. Yeah. This uh, really uh, is uh, poor man's right. hocus pocus. Yeah, hey, sure, right. Uh, yeah. This, is, this will be the part where the witches in hocus pocus go, hey, we're not monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just eat kids, okay? To stay alive forever. It's like, we, we eat children, but we don't go slapping people's butts. Like, what do you think we are? We have standards, you know. We flirt, yes, but we keep it at flirting unless the man says it's okay. <laughs> God. Uh... No, the, I'm sorry, this movie sucks. It is better than Spirited Beginning, though. But it still does not hold a candle. Congratulations. Yes, congrats. You're better than Spirited Beginning. It still does not hold a candle to the original, though. And I am still frustrated that this dictated whether or not that original got a sequel that could have improved on stuff. Enough said. Okay, too. I'm sorry, I'm gonna save it. I'm considering both this and Spirited Beginning on the same level, just for different reasons. That's fair. This is okay. On one hand, you can tell the improvements in this, both physically and on the writing at the beginning, but the movie quickly deflates very, <laughs> very abruptly. And by the time of the second act, <clears throat> you know, it basically devolves into very tiring cliches and, uh, you know, a plot that doesn't make you invested even in, in the main characters that are, you know, you know, these, these two, um, these two beings of different, uh, you know, different entire uh, species, as far as this magical world is concerned, they are in eternal, you know, rivalry with each other or something. Um, again, I'm sorry, the comedy is rarely funny. The acting is a bit better across the road, but uh, that's sadly not enough to save anything of this movie. Um, Poly Shore is not as irritating, good to know, uh, even the cameos. There are a bit less puns, admittedly. I did manage to count the fact that they're not as much as in the previous one, but they're still present. But no, I'm sorry, this movie is still equally cringe, and, you know, this movie adds the fact that it's incredible. It brings back the creepy factor from the first 1985 movie. Especially so with that later. CGI Santa board. Yeah, well, okay, I'm talking also more to what Pedro was referring, you know, the double standards. I'm, I'm but, curious, uh, Tio, is it a blessing or a curse that Polly Shore is not the most annoying character in this movie? Monkey's Paul, as in Monkey's you, get to, you yeah. get to have yeah. it, but in exchange... Remember, Jova, we are each, remember Jova, what happened when we tried to make him into the protagonist in Pinocchio True Story? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm guessing in this version is is because in this movie he's actually playing you know a more benevolent an actual benevolent character who's not his uh, job to be an arrogant dick. So I maybe guess. There's, there, there's the trick make Polly Shore's character supposedly endearing instead of being actually being you know a free prick. But whatever. No, I'm sorry. This is just this is, was just awful. You know, um, these these prequels were a mistake. Nothing but trash. The, <laughs> the, again, the nineteen ninety five movie still has its charm, but I consider it mostly just a product of its time and nothing more. This franchise is severe need of a reboot, and I do believe there are the right ingredients for do it. Handle, make it handle even Bloomhouse. That would be an interesting change of pace. Hmm. And Bloomhouse handling a kid's property. Well, Bloomhouse makes traditional horror movies for adults. Casper is supposed to be a kid's franchise. I'm not entirely yeah, sure if Blumhouse is the I mean. correct studio. That, that well, interesting. to be fair, Blumhouse did try doing an adaptation of a kid's show with Gem and the Gem Holograms. Holograms. Yeah, and look how that turned out. <laughs> Still, um, again, I do believe there is potential for actually for this franchise to get a new theatrical you know, adaptation of some kind. The ingredients are actually all there, to be honest. Oh, sure. 
Like, if it were me, I would just have uh, be a, a full CG cartoon movie because now that CG animation has advanced so much since these movies, you can very easily use CG animation to make a really good looking Casper movie. What about for a Wendy? Uh, look, at, look at this way. Uh, look at this way. Have you guys all seen um, Sonic Unleashed short, Night of the Werehog? Yes. We commented on it, Pedro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we've yeah. seen it. There you go. See, see make Casper uh, look like the ghost girl. There you go. Like if you, if we if the ca if the Casper and all the other ghosts look exactly like the ghost girl in that short does, there you go. You're golden. So what See, about the Wendy franchise? Been... Oh, you can also have her look cute in the typical Pixar way. That works. Still, my point is that again, there is potential in these. It's a shame that these prequels have essentially killed what momentum the the franchise was having, and. Yeah, that again. We still have. I even if they're not in same continuity, I am a bit curious to see what the uh, the school and the Christmas specials will be. We'll see eventually, I guess. <laughs> Someday. But yeah, no, this the still ain't it. Sorry, Pedro. It, it is not. No. Okay. Uh, the only reason this thing is not on par with. A spirit beginning for me is again because of Casper and again Hillary Duff. Like, because Casper, despite being fine characterization wise for the most part, he does he still doesn't quite have the same like he, like the, the the acting from Jeremy Foley. He doesn't have the warmth and charm that Malachi Pearson had in the original film. So even so, even though it's fine, it does still lack compared to the original film still. Even with this better uh, characterization compared to the previous movie, Wendy is of course the one undeniable good thing in this movie because she is spot on pretty much every in everything. Like she's spot on in the looks. They managed to find the perfect actress to play her. So um, she's the equivalent of Casper in the original movie. Sure, if that helps you. Um, and yeah, she's written exactly like you'd expect her to be. Um, but yeah, that's where the good stuff ends. Okay, okay, never mind. Actually, there's one more thing. Occasionally, you'll find a good joke here and there. I had, I did find the whole thing where they were celebrating her taking down the the ghost. But then, oh, but I had this my one. And then she drops me in the bed. That's funny. And like I said, I did get at the very least a kick out of the the two mooks at the end. Uh, too bad that was only like two jokes at the end of the movie. It's a shame we couldn't have more of that. But whatever. Alas. But that's really where the positive. That's those are the only reasons, and even then, there are very minor reasons why this movie is not on, as bad as Spirit of Beginning. Because Spirit of Beginning, in Spirit of Beginning, everything sucks. Even Casper kind of sucks in the in Spirit of Beginning. So, yeah, this movie is still terrible. Like everything about outside of those two, three things I mentioned is terrible. Like the story is terrible. The characterization of the aunts is terrible. The double standards are terrible. The fucking there's a kid keep that there's the, the whole I want to keep you sh for myself shit comes back because you know we totally wanted that. But this time the uh, character is doing it as a bad guy. I guess that's an improvement. Hooray! Why? Uh, I, I'm sorry. And just if you take a look at the source material. It's not exactly the kind of material that you would expect there to be. You know, commentary on. You know, harassment. I'm sorry, this doesn't really fit the Casper franchise. This is supposed to be a kid, an innocent kids franchise. That's the whole point of this thing. You can have more mature. You can have adults for the jokes. I'm getting wrong, but it's but this is not the right kind of adult joke you should have in Casper. But whatever. Uh yeah. The, the villain's bad because he's barely in it. The the uh what else the, the the uncles are still terrible the effects are better but they're still not particularly good the music is still bad the the plot feels like it spins its wheels during the second half this thing doesn't really need to be an hour and a half and yeah that's it ladies and gentlemen what you guys just saw is the 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 waste of time trilogy of my childhood happy Isaac. birthday pedro Yay! All right. Ne for the ne for the for the neck for my next birthday, I'm I I I'm I might just pick a Kubrick movie, just to 
to to contrast. Oh, oh, okay. You know, uh, all joking aside, in a weird diabolical way, I actually had fun riffing on this trilogy. It was nice to finally put memories of this thing to bed, essentially, seeing as how I do recall seeing bits of Casper meets Wendy from Cartoon Network. And it was sure. nice to see where Spirited Sorry. Beginning actually did go from those previews and trailers I'd seen. Yes, if Peter? Remember, uh, you watched the original when you were a kid, and you br watched some of Spirited Beginning, apparently, you said? Yeah, like, yeah. it was on the TV, but I wasn't actively watching it, but there was just, yeah. like, some bits and pieces, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm guessing you've never even seen or heard of this one? No. Like, yeah. this is a, like, there wasn't anything like, oh, I remember this, maybe I saw it. It's yeah. like, nope, this is completely new. I mean, considering Hilary Duff is in it, obviously you would have remembered if you saw it, right? Probably. So, oh, you yeah. a Hilary Duff fan? Uh, well, I grew up with a lot of her stuff, like, yeah, so. she said Same, that earlier, yeah. so. Uh, uh, yeah, well, there you go, she at the very least. It's an extra bit of Hilary Duff history that you now know, so there's that. Right. Damn, um, like I said, Hilary Duff is the best thing in this movie because she genuinely throws herself into the role and tries her and is genuinely trying her best. And like I said, fortunately, the writing does allow her to still shine. Unfortunately, like I've said, the movie doesn't really make good use of her. It's a, it's a phenomenal waste, but it's good to see that Hilary Duff's career went on to to do better to better things after this. That being said, yeah, everybody, that was the Casper live action trilogy. Um, yeah. All right, everybody, that's it. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.